That was so surreal. Scott famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Humanity is tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I should take a picture to prove Seriously, I'm still though. here. I could frame Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio, and, and I have to get my daily selfie quota. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? I do love my she analog really camera. So I should take a quick picture now. Another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing American at me now. The American Daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. ...is turning in a photo, so... You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. Of just... course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. 
I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody no, should have totally. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred dollars. Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh, They're just getting you ready to see how many she she is 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 He plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. 
She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera.